Hi, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls. So in the last video tutorial, we had seen the basic installation setup for Ami Broker and uh, how to plot the charts in Ami Broker. And in this video tutorial, we'll be discussing about the various charting tools in Ami Broker and uh, some of the charting uh, features in Ami Broker. So I'm just launching my Ami Broker here. So. So there are a couple of indicators here. So if you want to remove some of the indicators here, you can uh, do one right click and uh, delete indicator. One is the delete indicator. You can uh, say I want to delete an EMA, you can delete it. So this will, uh, the delete indicator always delete the overlying indicator. So I'm just deleting it. So you can see the EMA is gone. And if you uh, see the AMI brokers contains of multiple planes. So if you want to close one of the planes like RSA plane, I'm just right clicking over that, right clicking and uh, right click and close so again uh, to close the stochastic right click and uh, close right so if you want to scroll through the back of the charts so you can see that there is an uh, uh, scroll bar at the bottom you can uh, scroll through the charts and uh, you can uh, see the past historical data right so I'm just putting the Bollinger Bands here to put the Bollinger Bands you can go to the charts bands Bollinger Bands drag and drop done so now we can uh, scroll through the back and you can check it out very easily. Otherwise, if you want to uh, see the historical data, there is a uh, plus and minus button here, the uh, minus zoom out button and yellow color uh, icon. So you just click it out so you can the data get compressed and you can see the whole historical data in the same page. I mean, so otherwise, if you want to zoom to a particular uh, section, you can zoom it out and then uh, you can use a slider to I mean you can use the scroll bar to go to that particular uh, section and uh, you can zoom further and you can see and uh, there is an one more feature like if you go to uh, view you can uh, take the crosshairs crosshairs you can uh, point out over the charts and you can uh, check it out the pricing you can you can still do a zoom and uh, you can clearly check out the pricing of that particular levels so and uh, you can see the corresponding dates also it's it's uh, the y bar, y axis points the date and the x axis day points out the price over here and uh, you can use control h to toggle between the mouse pointer and the cross as you can see that okay great and uh, there are a couple of tools like uh, trend line tools just what i'm doing now compress it and right click and uh, delete the indicator Bollinger Bands let it be a plain charts so you can uh, there are a couple of uh, drawing tools on the left side I mean the right hand side so one is a trend line which you can uh, use to draw a trend line over here over the charts and uh, the ray lines the ray lines let us look at what the ray lines does so it draws an extended uh, ray lines like here and uh, this is an extended lines so the extended lines here you can use to draw the extended lines right so to delete this particular uh, drawing click over there select it you will see a small uh, uh, square shaped uh, uh, box here so press the uh, delete button it will be, uh, get deleted automatically so select it and delete select it and delete okay so and if you want to add any horizontal lines for example if you are plotting in uh, symbols like in indicators like rsi 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 yeah yeah right click and insert so if you want to plot the overbought and oversold levels for example you want to plot an uh, overbought level at 70 and oversold uh, level at 30 so you can use horizontal lines and here the next one comes like an uh, horizontal vertical line so it's quite similar to the horizontal lines parallel lines so parallel lines we can plot parallel channels so draw a line and then uh, move your cursor uh, somewhere uh, parallel to the charts and now we can click over there so now you can see you can draw multiple parallel lines you can keep on drawing multiple parallel lines okay so to erase it you press the control z button 
the all the drawings get what are the previous drawing it get erased and then uh, another one is on the regression channel this is used to plot the regression lines so automatically you can plot on regression lines so other couple of drawings you can do is you can plot a rectangle you can plot an uh, eclipse so i'm not explaining uh, how these tools can be used so you just better go and explore uh, on yourself so this is just an uh, normal drawings to plot an uh, triangle some people want to plot a triangle pattern right and uh, you can if you want to save your uh, uh, drawings with some text so you can have a notes over the chat say like uh, pi at uh, 2000 likewise you can have your own notations or uh, and another one is and uh, so i'm just doing erasing all those uh, drawings here and another one is in andrew pitchfork so i'll let me plot it over the new charts so to go to the new charts i'm just clicking over the new blank charts otherwise uh, ami booker also has a new default charts so you can select the new default charts by default charts it has its own uh, indicators like bollinger bands and uh, the volume figures what i'm doing i'm just compressing the charts and just going to plot a plot a andrew pitchfork here andrew pitchfork so I'm just selecting the starting point, the second point, and the end point. Done. So likewise, you can plot an uh, Andrew Pitchfork, and another one is on zigzag lines and uh, cycle lines. So you just go and explore. I mean, the draw. You can draw an arc, and you can draw an arrow, say like an arrow, and uh, you can change the time frame here: daily, weekly, monthly. The, the W stands for weekly and uh, monthly. And another one is Fibonacci time zones. So you just select the starting point. So it says the you can draw, you can move the Fibonacci lines. I'm just editing it, or I'll go to one, one more uh, default chart. Okay. So you can have an uh, Fibonacci fans. GAN uh, fan and uh, Fibonacci extension. So I'll tell you how to do an uh, uh, Fibonacci extension. So what I'll do? Just compressing the study, removing these old studies. Right, zooming a little bit. There is a small inverted, I mean, small uh, triangle over here. You can select the toolbar options here. So, selected the Fibonacci lines. Click over the start and then the end point. And then we extend your. You can extend your. Uh, Fibonacci lines here yeah, like this so you can uh, study the retracement uh, rules I'm not an uh, Fibonacci follower so don't expect me any tutorials on Fibonacci and uh, other things is the Fibonacci arcs Fibonacci time frame extensions so everything will have something like it has a starting point an end point you click over the start point and extend to the end point so it will plot the uh, those lines so GAN fan, it's quite similar to that. You have to select the start point and end point. So I'll show you the sample. Let us plot. Uh, I'll remove this uh, Fibonacci lines. So GAN fan. You click over the start point and then the extend to the end point. You can see the. Uh, it's an angle that you can see the angular lines so if you want to edit the angular lines you want to uh, add more lines you can double click over the lines you can see the GAN uh, percentage uh, level angles you can uh, vary it here or you can change the colors or you can change the lines style stick started or uh, regular lines okay so and another one is sometimes you want to see a uh, multiple uh, view of I mean you, can, you want to see multiple charts at the same time. So if you want to do that, you can go to Windows Tile vertically, 
tile vertically yeah yeah tile vertically so you can see multiple uh, charts at the same time for example in one screen you want an uh, uh, intel and another screen you want to have an uh, one more study with a different uh, stock say example you want uh, coca cola here and in another study you want to see an uh, one more so i'll put uh, microsoft okay so likewise we can have a multiple uh, view so anytime if you want you can go to and uh, you can switch to a single view and uh, this tabs are dockable so you can right click and uh, you can make it as floating and if you're having multiple monitors you can move to the screen uh, move to a different monitor if, if if it supports multiple monitors right and uh, anytime if you don't want you can make it as an normal so that it will get attached to the tabs so what else mm, ah okay great so if you want to change the time frames say you want a two day charts you can simply type 2d here d stands for time and m stands for minute and y stands for year so you can type 2d and you can easily get a two day chart so if so for example you want a seven day chart type 7d you get seven day charts and you want to change the colors of the charts you want to change the background you can go to change go to the tools preferences you can get the bars and candles no uh, you can change the colors you can change the colors over here the color of the candlesticks or the axis backgrounds whatever you want change the color if you're not comfortable with the default uh, background setup right and if you want to eliminate the grid some people are not comfortable with the grid so if you want to eliminate all the grids so just select over here remove it will remove all the grids and you will get a plain black feeling and uh, right um, what else we can explain okay here so if you go to help you can go to the about ami broker you can see what version it supports whether it is a 32 bit or a 64 bit uh, whether it is licensed or non licensed generally the license version uh, comes with an additional features like uh, it saves the data it saves the backfill data whereas if you are using an unregistered version or what are the studies you are doing over the charts it will be raised so it has its own limitations but, but uh, ami broker is a one good tool to try it out at uh, free of cost but uh, the license version you can get lot of support from ami broker forum and uh, lot of uh, the features which are uh, not possible here so for example if i am trying to save the charts file uh, save the database it says like uh, the uh, version is unregistered so it, if you're having an uh, a license version so the such kind of uh, uh, issues will not be there i mean once you're comfortable with ami broker it's recommended to go with an license version right so um, there are other tools like an uh, you can go to an uh, symbol no tools bar replay this is one interesting feature so i'll tell you click over the bar replay say you want to uh, simulate the markets and check whether your indicator is performing good or not uh, this is one way which uh, solves your uh, paper trading problem what i'm trying to do it has a start date and end date so i'm just selecting okay let it be first of january 2014 i'm starting i'm clicking on the play button so you can see that it's uh, ticking you can see the charts ticking down here right so the chart is daily so what i'll do i'll make it as a daily chart i'll restart again play play no let 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 us do it again tools bar replay okay so i'm clicking on the play so you can see then candlesticks are forming so Okay, so you can see that uh, the charts are uh, simulating on its own. That's all, everyone, and uh, thanks for uh, your uh, uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you are interested in subscribing to this tutorial, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, stay tuned. Thank you. Bye bye.